to another video. I'm up on the wild side and I am not in Blackpool in this video. I am actually in a car park here in Slough. How romantic. I can hear a plane taking off over there. I'm going on a journey in this video, folks. I'm actually parking in this airport car park tonight. I'm staying in a hotel near Heathrow and I'm going to be heading off to the United States of America. Yes, it's the first time I've been abroad for over five years and I'm actually going to see a total eclipse of the sun. Yes, the moon is going to block out the sun next week, Monday, and I am heading to Texas. That's where I'll be at the end of this video. If you stick with me to the end of this video, hopefully, hopefully, I will be in Dallas, Texas. That is my chosen location for the total eclipse. It actually crosses all the way from Mexico right up to the northeast of America. Um, goes out over Canada, yeah. So there's plenty of places where people can see this eclipse. Now I've chosen Dallas in Texas because it happens to pass right over Dallas and I thought out of all the places in America to pick, what better place for weather and all that sort of thing. Better chance of clear skies. We'll just have to hope for that. We cannot guarantee clear skies, but that is what I am going to the USA to see. A total eclipse, a bit of a second eclipse. The last one I saw was in 2017 in Casper, Wyoming. So. I'm going to take you along my journey. I'm going to get out of this car park, first of all. I'm going to head to a hotel, which is about, it's going to be like a tube ride or a bus, bus, bus ride down the road near, near Heathrow. We're going to get on a flight. Now I got a flight, dirt cheap, really, really cheap flight. But there's a catch. I'll let you know about that a bit later on. In fact, that will be worth a video on its own. But I'm going to take you with me on my journey. Let's see how it goes. Sorry, what, it's not the most inviting of places, this, is it? But uh, anyway, I'm going to get a lift from here to my hotel. I'm staying at a hotel, of course, over now, so I'm getting a lift in this rather swanky uh, van here, and they're going to drop me off at the hotel, and I'll be staying there overnight. And uh, yeah, uh, by the end of this video, I'll be in a much better place. Okay, we've made it to the hotel. Uh, there goes my uh, taxi there. And uh, it's a Leonardo hotel right next to the airport. I wonder if I'll see the planes take off. I forgot to mention that the car parking was £10 per day. Where it sounds out, I had to pay a bit more for the shuttle bus there. Just outside the ULE zone as well, which helps. I think I saved about driving into the ULE zone and having to drive out as well. So that's something to think about if you're doing airport parking. It was Igo Airport Parking in Slam. Anyway, I'm here at the hotel. Let's go check it out, shall we? Leonardo Hotel. Okay, now I'm gonna get a shuttle bus from here tomorrow morning. My flight is at 10.30. I need to be in the airport at half past seven, so I need to check the times here. I need to be on the I tell you what, it's absolutely banging in here now, this hotel. But anyway, I'm going to head up to the room now and get away from all this madness and uh, we'll see what it's like, shall we? I tell you what, what a carry on. I got out of the lift on the wrong floor. My room is number 2306. 2311, we're getting there. I wonder if I'll be able to see the planes from the window. Oh, almost there. Here we are, executive. Check it out, let's see if the card works. Oh, it does. We're in. Oh, I think we need some light. Check this out. You know, I was joking when I said I'd be able to see the planes out the window, because I'm sure they should be round the back where I'd only be able to see a car park. But look at this, I've got a prime view 
of Heathrow Airport. Just look at that there. We've got, two, I think it's Terminal 5, British Airways. Look at that there. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Okay, so I'm going to be taking it all the way to Dallas in Texas in this video. If you stick with me to the end, I've got a direct flight out of Heathrow tomorrow morning at 10.30, which means I need to be in the airport for 7.30. And it's only over the road, but I still need to get a shuttle bus or a taxi over there. But I've booked, I've booked one, so I'm going to get there. No problem at all. So I'm going to be staying for one night here in this hotel it only cost me 85 pounds and i think that's an absolute bargain i mean look at it it's absolutely amazing and i'll just show you what i get look look at this here i've got a fancy coffee machine there with really fancy co look at that there look coffees i've got a nice tv look look at the size of the bed wow look at that nice decor as well what do you think and then we've got that view out the window of course with the plane look at that plane taking off over there now look whoa Let's have a little look at the... Oh, we've got a tea and coffee here, look. Tea and coffee, we've got a safe. Uh, we've got the ironing board, of course. Let's have a little look in the bathroom. Here we go. The bathroom looks quite nice. Ah, yeah. So there you go. Um, quick look around. So, yeah. So I'm going to be getting a direct flight out of here tomorrow. Now, I did say that there's a catch. I'll tell you about that tomorrow. There's a catch coming back. I got the flights very, very cheap, but there's a bit of a catch coming back. Anyway, in the next scene, I will be heading out of here in the morning and heading to the airport. So I'll let you know how I got on here and, uh, and then we'll be on the way. Right, okay, it's the morning after, it's about half past six in the morning, Friday, and I am due to fly out today. And uh, yeah, the night was pretty good, uh, I got to sleep pretty well. Uh, the bed wasn't too soft, I mean, it's a huge bed. I mean, let's just take a look at that again now. Look at that, They're massive, a little bit plain, not too fancy, but uh, it did the job. And I'm going to have a look out in the window in a minute. It's, uh, look at that, it's lighting up a bit. I've just got, my, I've been reading my magazine there, look. America's Eclipse there, yeah. Talking all about it in the magazine. Let's have a little look out the window. There we go, it's lightening up, look at that. But oh, it's a bit of a rotten day in London today. We'll be escaping the rain. Hopefully I'll be escaping the rain of the UK and heading over to Dallas and hopefully the weather will be a whole lot better in Dallas. Yeah, I should certainly expect so anyway. I don't think I'll need to wear this jumper anyway. Anyway, the next thing to do is to head to the airport. Listen to that. Right, sorry I couldn't film too much of the cab journey. It was a little bit frantic, but I'm now here at Terminal 3 Heathrow. And just look at the weather. Oh my goodness. It's please excuse the wind noise. Oh, it's absolutely shocking. I'm sure it's gonna be a whole lot better when I get to Texas. It's not very nice, is it getting out here? Anyway, I'm heading over there. Oh my goodness, Terminal 3. Let's get in there out of this weather. Okay, so I'm now here in the terminal, glad to get out of that rain. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about that cheap flight when I get through security. I want to get all that out of the way first and then I'll come back onto you. But uh, you know what it's like, don't you? Airport security, absolute nightmare. Let's get that out of the way and then I'll come back to you. Right, okay, I made it through security. What a relief and uh, it was relatively painless as well, yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? It's so, so stressful when you come to an airport, especially one like Heathrow here. It's one of the busiest airports in the world, isn't it? Anyway, I'm glad I've got that out of the way. I'm going to tell you about the flight now. It's um, it's actually by Finnair. Never heard of it. Didn't even know they had an airline, Finland. Uh, but it's operated by American Airlines. So I am flying with American Airlines today. Uh, uh, another thing as well I just wanted to mention, have you noticed how they get you to do everything yourself nowadays? You know, they get you to check in online before you even get to the airport. They even want you to, to uh, tag your bags and all that sort of thing. 
um, but the machines weren't working, so I had to take my bag to the desk and, and, and they did it that way. So, uh, so anyway, glad to get all that out of the way. The, I was after, I've been after a flight for the last couple of weeks. I didn't book it until almost the last minute. And when I first was looking at return flights to Dallas, they were coming in at around about a thousand to twelve hundred pound or something like that. And I left it for a while, and I came back a, a few days later, and they're going up. And I thought, oh my God, the prices are going up here. It looks like I'm going to have to pay about thirteen hundred pound, and that's not even guaranteed for a, a direct flight as well. It, it would have been for a connecting flight. So anyway, out of nowhere, this this uh, flight popped up by thin air and it was £585, and that's direct out of Heathrow, but coming back from Fort Dallas, Fort Worth, in about 10 days, I have to uh, make a connection at JFK, and here's the catch. I'll be, I'll be on a layover at JFK for 12 hours. 12 hours at JFK, I'll be staying at JFK overnight. Oh my God, is it worth it though? But I've saved about six to £700 on the flight. And I think I'll actually make a video out of that when I get to it. So uh, look out for that video. I'll do that one in the future. Anyway, uh, I've not had breakfast yet, so uh, I think I'm going to get something to eat because I'm hungry. Right, OK, I managed to get my breakfast. I've got a ham and cheese tannini from Cafe Nero here behind us. And I got a coffee as well. And uh, I didn't get a lot of change out of nine pounds of this. Uh, yeah, it's going to be quite expensive this trip. Anyway, um, I was just thinking of, you know, when I get to JFK on the way back and I have that layover of 12 hours, I'm going to be like Tom Hanks, aren't I? Yeah. Have you seen that, what's that film called? Tom Hanks, where he's in the air, he lives in the airport, doesn't he? I'm going to be doing that, so uh, I'll have to look out for that when I do a video one. Yeah. Anyway, I've got about an hour and a half before I fly, so I'll be tucking into this and hopefully I'll get a bit more when I get on the plane. You know, that panini was actually really, really nice, but I'm a bit disappointed that they don't have any McDonald's. They haven't got McDonald's here at Terminal 3 Heathrow or a Burger King or anything like that. They've got all these fancy eating places, got some right fancy places, sushi bars and all that sort of thing, but not McDonald's or Burger King. You know me, I'm not that fancy. Anyway, the gate number for my flight, which is about in about an hour and 15 minutes, has just come up. It's gate number 23, so I need to head that way now. Okay, I'm just on my way to the gate now and uh, hopefully it won't be too long to walk. In fact, there's a plane just out here now, which I think could be mine. It's an American Airlines 777, check it out. Check out that beauty there, look. American 777. Okay, I've just checked and it is my plane. That's the plane that I will be flying to Dallas on, but we're still about an hour away from boarding, so we've got a little bit of waiting to do yet. Okay, I finally made it here to Dallas. Uh, ten, uh, 10 hours on the plane. It wasn't quite a 10 hour flight, but 10 hours on the plane. You might have seen a few seconds of video that I shot along the way. I've just come through passport control. I picked up my bag. It took quite a while to pick my bag up. Hello, Iberia Airlines agent. Please see passenger update 16 baggage claim for luggage assistance. Someone's lost the bag by the sound of it. And right, so now 
that I'm here. Uh, and by the way, it's absolutely roasting. Here's me in the jumper. I am going to be, I'm sweating already. But, uh, right, so what I need to do now, here's another thing that's quite interesting about this um, flight that I've taken. It's great to get here. The problem is I couldn't hire a car from this airport because they'd sold out. So now I have to go to another airport to get a taxi to another airport Dallas Love Field and by the way that's the airport that John F Kennedy flew to on that uh, fateful day when he flew out he was not living no. um, yes yeah, so I have to go to that airport to pick a car up because I could not get one from here it completely sold out they only had really expensive models so I have to go there now to pick the car up and then finally once I do that I can then get off to the hotel and I think I'll be ready for a lie down Okay, here we go folks, Dallas, out into the sunshine, it's a bit different to Heathrow, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. oh sorry, you mean D? Left the right. Of Heathrow. It's not a bad swap, is it? I think I need to go to this uh, booth here to book a taxi. You can't just jump in a taxi. And, oh my goodness, that's so... Blasting on me now, folks. Check it out. I am here in Dallas, Texas. From London Heathrow. Oh, London Heathrow. Yeah, yeah, and it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> well, check this out. I have got my car here from Hertz at Lovefield. It was a bit of a drag having to get a taxi over here, but here I am. This is the car. Look at this. Wow, it's in. What is it? I don't know what it is. Uh, it's a Durango, um, whatever that is, but it's a nice looking car, isn't it? Hey, check it out, I'm going to be driving this car. This is my ride. For my trip, check it out. What a beast. Let's get in it, shall we? I'm going to have to get used to driving this thing. I'm going to have to find out what all these buttons do, aren't I? <laughs> Before I can drive the thing. Right, okay, wish me luck folks, I'm about to start driving this car. And, I don't know, I hope the handbrake's not on, is it? The handbrake's not on? It's like a foot brake down here. They don't have handbrakes, do they, in America? Uh, so what we want to do is I put my seatbelt on first, that would be a good idea. Where are the indicators? I think the indicators are, yeah, got the indicators. Um, now when I come out of this road now, I need to turn right, I can't turn left, so I'm going to have to... It's only, it's only one way. So here we go, I think I need to see, do I need to see someone before I drive out of here? Now someone needs to drop the ramp, because there's a big massive ramp here. <laughs> I don't want to drive into the ramp, do I? <laughs> so let's see. Hello, hi. Hiya. The what, sorry? Your license and rental agreement? Oh, license, yeah. You need a toll tag. A what, sorry? A toll tag. What was that, please? A toll tag. I don't know what that is. What area are you going to? Um, I'm going to be in Texas, just really in Texas, around Dallas. And okay. It, it, I mean, I could travel, you know, far and wide. I don't know, would that be... Okay. 
give me one second. Hey, are you having a great night? I can't. Here we go, wish me luck folks. I'm about to go on to the to the open road. It's really busy. Now what I need to do is I need to go down this road and turn around because I'm I'm in the airport at the moment. Dodge Durango by the way, yeah a Dodge Durango, that's what this car is and I tell you what, I think I've done pretty well you know, it cost me £1,100 to get this car from Love Field, if I wanted to get a car similar to this from Dallas Fort Worth it would have cost me about £2,000, I'm not joking, the only cars they had left were high end cars and they were costing about £2,000. So I think I've saved quite a bit of money. A little bit of a drag. Now, when I drop this car off, I'm going to drop it back off at Dallas-Fort Worth. So I won't have the same trouble when I drop it off. Oh, check this out. There's an In-N-Out Burger here. Eh? I'm, I'm going to In-N-Out Burger. Let's get in here, shall we? Oh, In-N-Out Burger. Right, let's see if I can reverse this thing. Here we go. A big yank tank. Oh, I've got par a, a parking, a reversing camera. That's handy. Right, we're here. I've made it to in and out but I, I need a drink. I, I, I really, really need a drink after all that. Oh, right, we're in park, yeah. Turn the thing off. Where's the key? Has it not got a key? Oh, that's weird. yeah so I am here at In-N-Out Burger it's the first burger joint I've come to and you know what all I've, well actually all I've done is gone in to get a drink I haven't had anything to eat we, we, we weren't too bad on the plane we got something to eat on the plane so I just had a drink in there but I will be coming back here to do a special video just on this place because they're really really good they're only in four states across the western part of America you won't get these on the east coast but they use fresh ingredients and in and out Burger is one of my favourite fast food joints in America. Anyway, it's time to head to the hotel now. It's around about seven minutes drive away from here. So I need to get back there now. I'm going to drive over there and uh, I'll wrap this video up. Tell you what, they've got some posh sounding birds here in Dallas. I am at my final destination. This is the Wing Wingate by Wyndham Hotel and it's by Dallas Love Field Airport. And now that's not the airport I flew into. I flew into Dallas Fort Worth, but I had to come to this airport to pick up this car because I could not get a car from the other airport. So I just wanted a, a, a hotel that was near this airport where I was picking the car up from. But what an epic journey! Um, and it all went so well, despite me having manual, it picked everything. I picked the flights, I picked the hotel, the hire car, everything was all done manually. I did have some help, you know who you are, so thanks very much for the help I got. And um, yeah, it's gone so well. It's half past five local time here now. And uh, oh, yeah, they've got some noisy cars here, huh? listen to those birds. like a monster truck anyway um if i was back home i think it would be 11 o'clock so i'm probably getting a bit tired by now <laughs> anyway let's head into the hotel and we'll check the hotel up shall we
Okay, here we go. Another day and another hotel. This time it's in Dallas. And my room is actually on the ground floor this time. It's no bother finding it. I've just come out of reception, checked in, took no time at all. I'm in one, two, one. Let's check it out. Here we go. Now then, I wonder how this room compares to the last one I was at. A key throw. Here's a little look around, what do you reckon? Uh, well, first impressions looks pretty good. I think it was a bit more expensive than the uh, than the Heathrow one. I think this was a, well, so not as good a, a a view out of this one. We've got the parking lot. There you go. I've just checked on the app, and this hotel costs one hundred and twenty pounds a night. Yes, it's not particularly cheap. I don't really want to be paying that much every night on this day if i can i've got a budget of around about 80 maybe 80 to 90 might be staying in a few uh, motels uh, hopefully nothing too dodgy along the might even be sleeping in the car i might have to go on a chase for this eclipse if it's cloudy on in dallas on monday i might have to go on a chase and chase the eclipse please i hope i don't have to do that by the way but anyway that'll be another video so we'll just have a little look around the hotel like i say it's it is a bit different and it does feel quite a bit bigger this one but Got a TV there, there you go. Well, let's have a quick look in the, in the restroom, shall we? Is that what they call it, the restroom? Oh, can't find the... Where's the light? You know, I struggle to find the, uh, the light switch <laughs> for the bathroom, but here we go. This is it. Uh, yeah. Looks all right, you know. It's not quite as modern as the other hotel. Uh, there you go. Hi. <laughs> you know, I feel a bit like I want to flop at the moment after that journey. My goodness, what a journey. And I took you with me from the start to the finish right here. Yeah, it's a little bit hectic at times, but I hope you enjoyed the ride. Um, a little bit, you know, <sighs> A little bit different in the way I did things, you know, having to hire a car from a different airport to the way I was flying it. I have no idea why Dallas Fort Worth had sold out of hire cars, and yet at Love Field, where I am now, near Love Field, they had loads of hire cars on offer, and I was able to get the hire car that I wanted, which I couldn't do at the other one, but there you go. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to be flopping on this bed anytime soon, so that's it. I'm going to leave the video now. And thanks for joining us on this journey. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this and I want to do some more. And I will be doing a lot more videos from here in Texas. Watch out for them. I'll be doing the fast food joints. I'll be doing, you know, the, the, the burger places. I'll be visiting places. I might even visit, and don't promise it, but I might visit South Fort Ranch, the home of Dallas, the TV show. I've been there before. I have actually been there before, yeah. But the main purpose of this trip is the total eclipse, which is happening on Monday, and hopefully, weather permitting, it'll play ball and we'll get to see the eclipse so that'll be absolutely amazing and i'll certainly be doing a video about that as well anyway i hope you like this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one all right oh.